Hi, I'm Jackie Searles, Development Application Scientist at the Luminix Explore Lab. In my experience, labs that consistently run XMAP assays, or those that occasionally run them at high volumes, could benefit from automation. Here are four tips to consider before you get started. Ensure the system's capacity fits your needs. Do you need a fully automated or semi-automated system? Consider how much hands-on time is needed to run the system. Can you start the run and walk away, or do you need to be engaged during the run? Is the liquid handling portion fully controlled? If not, there is more possibility for error. Also, if you'll be dispensing larger volumes, such as tens of microliters, you may not need a system with nano or picoliter capacity. What add-on capabilities do you need? These can include a shaker, barcode reader, tip washing, or integration with robotics. Would scheduling software be helpful? If you want to continuously add plates and or maximize throughput, the answer is yes. Have a shared understanding of the assay details with your automation vendor partner. For example, can all physical actions of the manual assay be replicated by the system you select? Make sure the automation company you partner with understands the science behind your assay. It might be intuitive to you, but they also need to understand critical elements specific to your assay's chemistry and workflow to ensure success. These details are likely apparent to you, but may not be to them. Understand physical requirements and ergonomic orientation of the instruments. Will the selected system and components fit in your lab? Be sure to measure the size and weight of the instrument. Also, think about the ergonomics and layout efficiency of modular automation stations. Consider the running costs and consumables you'll need to buy. Is the system open where it can use any brand of consumable? Or are there proprietary consumables that must be used? Calculating these costs in addition to instrumentation will ensure you don't break your budget. I hope these tips were helpful. 